Now we're going to uh, work on technique number one, clutching feathers. The, the, the attack for this technique is uh, for somebody grabbing you, uh, grabbing your hair with the left hand and uh, they could be grabbing your hair to control or to throw the punch also, to throw the right punch. Now first thing we want to do, we want to pin that hand, make sure it's not going anywhere, make sure it's not going to be pulling you and we're going to drop back, sinking back towards uh, 6 o'clock, 6.30 and as we, as we drop to a right neutral ball, we're going to shoot a right vertical punch with the middle knuckle right underneath the armpit. We, we'd like to catch a nerve underneath to make them loosen up the grab on top. So we're going to pin the hand, we're going to drop back. As we drop and use our body rotation, we're going to shoot the vertical punch right underneath the armpit. Now from here, we're going to use our right hand to do an extended outward block to clear his hand out of the way. At the same time, we want to drop into a forward bow and hit him with the left heel palm to the face. Now this, this two moves are going to come at the same time. So we're going to pin the hand, drop back, hit him with the vertical middle knuckle, then we're going to clear the arm out of the way, and at the same time, we're going to shoot the heel palm to the face. Now we're in a right forward bow. Now from here, we're going to sink back to a right neutral bow as your right hammer fist is going to catch him across the face. You could catch him at the bridge of the nose, or we could catch him the left side of his jaw. I'm going to take this from top a couple of times. Step back, hit with the middle knuckle, pin the hand, clear the arm out of the way, hit him with the heel palm, into a forward bow, back to your neutral bow, as you hit him with the uh, hammer fist across the face. Okay. Come up, Master, please. Good. Now, uh, when he grabs the hair, as you step back, pinning his hand, you want to make sure you sink back and you pull him. So at the same time that you're pulling the, this shoulder, his, his left shoulder, you want to kind of control his right hand by pulling the left shoulder in so he won't be able to punch you for that moment. Now, another thing is when you drop back, make sure you're not going to be leaning forward. Your back's got to be straight, so when you drop back, you've got to bring him with you. Now, right from here, we're going to catch him with the... Uh, Middle knuckle, right underneath the armpit. As we clear the arm, we're going to hit him with the heel palm, right at the same time. Then we're going to go with the right hammer fist across the face. One more time. Now, also you got to remember that usually somebody that's going to grab you, it's not going to be from a distance. They're going to be they're pretty much right into your face grabbing your hair. So another reason for stepping back is to straighten up this arm so we clear the path for the right middle knuckle. Now, right from here, clear heel palm. When you shoot this heel palm, your right hand has got to be right behind your left. So when you strike with the heel palm, you're kind of covering his vision. He can't see the right hand coming across right after that. Okay. Now we're going to take it from a different angle. We're going to pin, sink back, middle knuckle, lift him up, clear and heel palm and then finish him with hammer fist. And one more time. Step back, pin, drop back, hit him, clear, heel palm, and a hammer fist. We're gonna take this a little bit faster now. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Let's take it from a different angle. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Okay, and you cross out after that. Yes, sir. Next technique is called the triggered salute. Now, the reason it's called triggered salute, your opponent is standing in front of you, pretty much squared off, facing each other, and he's going to uh, push you with his right hand, directly catching your left shoulder. Now, 
uh, what's going to uh, trigger your salute is his push. As he pushes your shoulder, you're going to step off with your right leg and you're going to sink into him forward, okay, with the right leg into a right neutral ball, and you're going to catch him with the uh, right heel palm to the face. Now, at the same time, your left hand is going to be pinning his hand, the hand that's pushing you. So again, we're going to pin his hand, we're going to step in, sink into him with the right heel palm, catching his chin. This action is going to stretch him and push him back. Now, we're going to use a crane. What I mean by crane is where you got your fingers together and you're going to use this part of your arm. So, as we pin the hand, sink forward, hit him with the heel palm, we're going to use the crane, and when you use the crane, let the elbow stay low. Don't do this. You want to make sure that your elbow is going to be straight down. You're going to dr drop the crane on his arm, and you're going to drop it and pull. Now, right from here, you're going to collapse that inward block, inward uh, elbow, right to his ribs. We're going to go right inward elbow, and then we're going to use the same elbow, shooting an outward elbow, catching his ribs or kidney. Then, from that motion, we're going to use a uh, right outward back knuckle, again, either catching the ribs or kidney again. And then, as it comes to your side, we're still pinning with the left hand. We're going to come up with the right uppercut and catch him to the throat. Now, I'm going to do this a couple of times. I'm going to step in, heel palm. Use the crane, elbow in, elbow out, back knuckle, and uppercut. Let's do this from a different angle also. Uh, push comes. We're going to pin the hand, sink in, heel palm. Use the crane, down, elbow in, out, back knuckle, and the uppercut. Okay. Uh, Master, come up, please. Okay, now let's say... Uh, He's pushing here. Now, as he pushes, we're going to pin, and that's going to trigger, and you're going to shoot the heel palm. Now, your opponent does not have to make contact in order for you to start your technique. If you could see the arm coming to push, you could just step off with the right leg forward as you pin. Use the heel palm. Now, from here, when you strike to the face and push him back, straighten up the arm. We're going to use the crane. We're going to drop it on top of the arm. But as we drop, we're going to also pull to cancel the other hand. Because if I just drop it on his arm, he could shoot that punch. So what you want to do, you want to drop and pull to cancel his left. Now from here, you drop in the elbow to the ribs, back outward to the ribs. And on your way out, you're going to catch him with the back knuckle to the kidney. And then we're going with the uppercut to the throat. And one more time. So he pushes, we step in, heel palm, drop the crane, elbow in, out, back knuckle, and uppercut. We take it from a different angle. <coughs> so he pushes, we step in with the heel palm, drop the crane down and in. Now we'll go elbow, elbow strike, back, back knuckle catches the kidney, comes out, and you shoot the uppercut to the throat. And one more time. Going one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. I'm going to take this a little bit faster now. Yes, yes. And one more time. Yes, yes. You take it from a different angle. Yes, yes, yes. And one more time. Yes, yes, yes. Next technique is called Dance of Death. Now, this is uh, uh, designed for a uh, type of attack that, let's say if your opponent is in a fighting stance and he throws a jab at you and then he's coming with a reverse punch, which when he's throwing the right punch and you're starting your technique from there, th uh, this position, uh, he's still got his right leg back. Or he could be standing in front of you with his right leg slightly back and he comes in with the right punch to hit you. So now, what we're doing here, 
depending on the distance and how your opponent is coming at you. You could either step forward with your left leg and block the punch, or you could step back with your right leg. Either case, it's going to put you in a left fighting stance. Now, let's say we step back with the right leg and check the punch. Now, right from here, we're going to keep checking the punch with the left hand, and right at the same time, we're going to drop into a left forward bow, hit them with the ridge hand to the groin. So, one more time again, we're going to drop back, block, and hit them with the ridge hand to the groin. Now, at the same time, they're hitting with the ridge hand. If you need to move up a little bit to body check and get a little bit closer, then that's what you have to do. Now, from here, you're going to do three moves at the same time. You're going to let your left hand go around his right leg to hook around it, and at the same time, we want to take a right leg step through, and we want to collapse that right inward elbow to the midsection of your opponent. And from here, with this uh, strikes, we're going to take him down on his back. Now, from this position, we're going to shoot a back knuckle inside his knee, inside his left knee, and then we're going to come down with either a hand sword to the groin, finger strikes to the groin, or we could drop a straight vertical punch to the groin. So we're going to take this from top, drop back, you block, could do a little shuffle in here, rich hand to the groin, we're going to grab the leg, step through, clasp the elbow, take him down, back knuckle, and strike to the groin. And then I'm going to close kneel stance or wide kneel stance if you want to adjust your height. Master, come up. <clears throat> okay, now, put your right leg back. Now, say he throws the right punch, and we check it. Now, from this position, we're going to shoot the ridge hand right to the groin from point of origin. As we shoot, we're going to body check, and we're going to come get a little bit closer to him. I don't want you to leave a lot of distance here. So we block, we move in, body check also. Now, from here, we go to grab the leg, and at the same time, we want to collapse the elbow. And at the same time, we want to do a step through. So from here, we go one, and we go through. Now, from this position, when you step forward and you take him down, you got to make sure that you're holding onto his leg tight and you're locking it because you don't want him to be able to pull the leg out and shoot a heel kick here. Now, we got it locked. Now, in case he decides to come out with this leg, that's from this position, you're going to shoot that outward back knuckle, catch him inside the knee, and then you're going to strike to the groin. Okay, come up. Now, there's also uh, another way of doing this technique that we could sweep the other leg and take him down. Okay, I'm going to go over that with you also. So, we block and strike. Now, instead of a step through with my right leg, I could hook around his leg and sweep this leg at the same time. I take the other leg, back knuckle, and strike to the groin. Come up again. Now, if this technique is done at full speed, you want to take your opponent down right in front of you. He's not supposed to be falling way back there, okay? And the first thing that's going to hit the ground is back of his head. And I'm going to do this slowly, I'll show you what I mean. From here, when we take him down, see? This is what's going to happen to him. And now from this position, we're going to check and drop. Okay, now let's take this from a different angle. Come up. Okay, punch, strike, go through, clear, and strike. Okay, one more time. I'm going to check, strike, go through, take down. Back knuckle and strike. We're going to take this a little bit faster. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! And one more time. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Come on. Let's take it from a different angle. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! One more time. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, 
Next technique is called the uh, trusting salute, and the attack is a uh, right front kick coming at you from 12 o'clock. Now, normally, normally we drop back with the right leg into a fighting stance going towards 5 o'clock. This time we like to step off to the side a little bit more just to get away from the kick. So we're going to step with the right leg towards 4 o'clock, and we're going to uh, double up on our downward block, starting with the uh, right hand doing a downward block, palm up with the outside part of the wrist, and we're gonna come out with the uh, left hand doing a downward block and clearing the kick out of the way. Now, one more time. The kick comes from 12 o'clock. We're gonna step off towards four. Right hand downward block, left hand clear out of the way. Now, from here, our opponent is facing us. We're gonna shoot a right kick to the groin, and we're gonna uh, continue, plant forward, and shoot a right heel palm to the face. So one more time, we're going to step off to 4 o'clock, clear the leg out of the way, front kick to groin, and plant forward heel palm. Let's take this from a different angle. We're going to step off, block the kick. Towards tw 10 o'clock, front kick to the groin, and heel palm to the face. Downward block, kick, and heel palm. Okay. Nasu, come up, please. Now, when he throws the kick, and you step off, and you block. Now, you got to make sure that you're going to stay low. And when you go to throw the kick, you don't want to come up and get close to him with your upper body because you got to worry about his hands. So now, when you drop back, you like to keep the distance because at this point, as soon as you plant his foot, you can reach him with the kick. So there's no need for you to raise up and let your upper body get close to him. Now, another thing from here, when you go to kick, you're going to cross shoot. What I mean by cross shoot is when you check him with your left hand and kick him with your right leg. Now, this could also keep him up for your next move to follow through. <clears throat> One more time, throw the kick. We step off, block. Let, let your check come up in front of you as you kick. And then you're going to continue plant forward and use your whole body rotation for the heel palm. Do not hold your shoulder back and end up this way because you want to give it all going through. Okay, let's take it from a different angle. Now, here comes the right kick. We're going to step off, block, check as we kick, follow through with the heel palm. Okay, go one. Get your kick up a little bit higher for me. Go one. Two and three. Now let's take this a little bit faster. Yes, sir. Okay, let's try from this different angle. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Next technique is called gift of destruction. And the gift that's given to you is the handshake. Now you might say, why somebody that's shaking your hand, okay, you want to do a technique on him. Now, uh, normally even you uh, come across a stranger and you start talking and if they, he brings his hand to uh, shake your hand, normally that's what you're going to do also. Now people that are shaking your hand, they could be intimidating just by uh, trying to press it hard and at the same time, it could be a control because 
your weapon is just being controlled, they're holding on to it. So you, you uh, want to be able to come out of this situation and uh, in case uh, there's any pressing or pulling or pushing, be able to do a technique. Also, this could work for a wrist grab that you could counterattack and grab his hand and work this technique also. I'll show you what I mean. Now, uh, <clears throat> the first move from this position is when you hop to 10 o'clock with your left leg and sinking, at the same time that you go to 10 o'clock with your left, you're going to shoot a right knee to the midsection with his groin or lower stomach. So we're going to pull also at the same time to cancel his left. So this first four moves are going to be done together. As we hop to the side to 10 o'clock, shoot a right knee, pulling the right hand, and with the left hand striking with the heel palm to the elbow to straighten up the elbow and snap it. Now, from here, we're going to check on top of the uh, right hand, his right hand. As we plant forward, step through with the right leg, and we're going to come up with the uh, right inward horizontal elbow. Okay, now let's go through this again. So, from this position, we're going to hop to the side, shoot the knee, break the elbow, as we turn the wrist a bit, and pulling his right hand. Now, from here, we're going to plant forward as we check the midsection and check his arm, we're going to come up with the elbow to the face. Okay, let's try it from a different angle. From here, handshake, hop to the side, pull, break, knee, and check with the elbow. One more time. Go one, pull, check, two, plant, and strike with the elbow, three. Okay, come on, man, see. Good. Okay. From this position, now, your left hand, naturally, the way it's on your side, is fingers pointed down. So when you come up to strike to the elbow, do not come up with your fingers pointed up. You just want to come up from a natural position and make that break. Now, let's take it from this angle, <coughs> this way. Now, another reason is if you're going up this way and you happen to miss, your arm is just going to go over. Your hand is just going to go over his arm. But if you're going this way, fingers pointed down, and in case you miss the elbow and you, you sit, you could still use your arm and your body to snap his arm and snap his elbow. Okay, let's go back to the other side. Okay, now from here, we're going to pull to cancel his width so he won't punch with the other hand. Now, at the same time that I hop to the side and turn to set up the elbow for the break, and I'm going to pull to cancel his width, I'm going to shoot a knee to the midsection. So we're going to go one. <coughs> And right from here, we're going to plant forward. Now, this hand, after the break, is going to roll up. And when we plant forward, we're going to check this arm to his body. Make sure it's not going to be checked out that could come up and around and hit you. So after the break, we're going to come on top of it, check it into his body as we plant forward. And the elbow is going to come up, strike on top. Let's try that a couple of times. We go one, check, and two. Take this from a different angle. So we're going one, plant forward, and two. One more time. Snap the elbow, check it, going forward, and strike with the elbow. Let's do this faster. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Take it from a different angle. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next technique is uh, called locking horns. This is for uh, somebody uh, putting you on a uh, uh, headlock and standing in front of you. Now, this could be uh, is if you've been surprised getting a kick to the midsection or a strike punch to the midsection and you start to lean forward a bit and your opponent puts a front headlock on you. Now, we're going to take it <coughs> from this point from feet together pretty much or a, in a uh, uh, horse stance, a narrow horse stance you're going to step forward with your right leg into a closed kneel. 
And as you step in, your left hand is going to check his right knee. And at the same time, your right hand is going to be doing a ridge hand to the groin. So your first move is going to step in with the right leg, check the knee, and at the same time, you're going to do a ridge hand to the groin. This ridge hand is going to go in and up. Now, right from here, this is going to uh, make your opponent is getting, getting hit to, to the groin, lean forward and push him back a bit. So now, uh, from this, from this position, you're going to sink into your neutral bow. As you go to your neutral bow, your right hand is going <laughs> to do an upward elbow, to like an obscure elbow coming up. And then from this position, as it pushes his head up and it straighten up his body, we're going to come up and sink into a forward bow and shoot a left heel palm strike to the midsection. Now this strike is going to again bring his head forward from this position, either a sandwich right in place, or if you need to, you could do a push strike forward, shuffle up to him, and catch him with a sandwich. Okay, that's going to be a right inward elbow to the left side of his face, and the left palm of the hand is going to catch the right side of his face, and we're going to sandwich. So we're going to take it from top. From here, we're going to step in to a closed kneel, check the knee, and strike to the groin. Sink into the neutral ball, come up with the elbow underneath his chin, raise him up, go with the heel palm back to the midsection, and shuffle forward, catch him on top with a sandwich to the face. Okay, let's take this from a different angle. So from this position, we're going to step in, strike one, neutral ball two, forward ball heel palm three, and shuffle up four. Uh, also, another uh, comment I wanted to make here that in case you strike him here and you hit him with the elbow, his head, his head just bounces up and come back in. Then right from the elbow, we could just catch him with the sandwich also, canceling the heel palm to the midsection. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Come up, Master, please. Okay. Now, let's say we're in the uh, front headlock. Okay, this position, we're going to step in. As we step in, we're going to check this knee, and we're going to go rich hand to the groin. Now, from here, the elbow is going to shoot up and clear the pat. As it comes up, we're going to rotate the upper body and go heel palm to the midsection, and then from here, we're going to go with the sandwich. Okay, and one more time. From this position, I'm going one, two, three, and four. Now let's take it from a different angle. We're going in one. Now let's say if I catch him with the elbow, I catch him with the elbow, his head snaps back and forward, then I could just, from this move, shuffle in and catch him with a sandwich. Okay. Let's try this again one more time. So we're going one, two, three, and four. Okay. Let's speed up a little bit on this. Uh, long kimono is designed for uh, somebody grabbing you with the left hand. It's a direct lapel grab, left hand. So now what we want to do, we want to pin his hand with our left hand. We're going to sink, sink back to the fighting stance. As we drop back to a fighting stance, we're going to turn his wrist clockwise to set up his elbow for the break. Now, at the same time that we sink back to a right neutral bow, rotate the upper body sinking. Now we're going to shoot the punch here. As we shoot the punch, the rotation of this punch is going to snap his elbow, break it. Now from this position, we're going to come around with the right hand and clear his arm out of the way with the right inward block. 
Now, the way you clear it out of the way, it's like a diagonal motion. It's like inward, downward, coming diagonal. And then from this position, you're going to do a right outward hand sword to the throat. Let's go over this again. So we're going to pin his hand. We're going to turn it clockwise. We're going to sink back to a right neutral ball. Snap his elbow. Then we're going to go out and clear the arm. At this position, your left hand becomes a positional check, covering your center line. To clear the arm out of the way, and we're going to do a right outward hand throw to the throat. Take it from this side. We're going to pin the hand, sink back, break, go around, clear the arm out of the way, and hand sword. One more time. Pin, drop back, break, clear the arm, and chop. Okay, Master, come up, please. So it's for a uh, lapel grab. Now, again, uh, the arm could be bent because your opponent is close to you. So now, in order to break it, we want to make sure that we drop back as we turn the wrist and pin this hand. We're going to straighten up this arm so now we'll be able to bra break the elbow and snap it. At the same time, we've got to worry about this hand. That's why we're dropping back and pulling. Now, you got to make sure when you grab and you turn, you also put some weight on his arm, so you're putting weight on his tight zone, checking that as we sink back. Bring him down. Now we're going to snap the elbow. When you clear the arm, you want to make sure that it's not going to go on top to bring his head in, and it's not going to be out this way to cover the target, even though that we could clear it and go to a different target. But still, if you want to go to the throat, after we make the break, we like to go diagonal this way to keep the target open for the right outward hand sword. Take it from a different angle. <clears throat> so we pin, sink back, make the break, go around, clear, and chop to the throat. One more time. Drop back, break, clear, and chop. Okay. Now let's do this a little bit faster. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, take it from this side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. next technique we're going to work on is called glancing salute. Now, we already went over triggered salute, how we had the right hand pushing the uh, left shoulder. Now, this time the right hand is going to be cross-pushing the right shoulder. So now, you, the first move we're going to do, we're going to sink forward with the left leg towards 10 o'clock. And as we sink, we step to 10 o'clock, we're going to pivot and go into a right forward bow facing 3 o'clock. So the uh, opponent is in front of you, does a cross push with his right hand pushing the right shoulder. As we step to 10 o'clock, we're going to pivot, sinking into a right forward row facing three. And at the same time, again, we're going to pin his hand and we shoot a left inward block to his elbow to snap the elbow. Now, from this position, we're going to clear his arm out of the way. We're going to sweep his arm and clear it. And at the same time, the right hand, your salute is going to glance off and hit him to the face. And right from there, it's going to hook back of his neck. And at this position, from a right forward bow facing 3 o'clock, we're going to go back to a left forward bow facing 12 o'clock. So let's do this one more time. We're going to step in, check, break, clear the arm out of the way as we heel palm, go to a left forward bow. As soon as we do the heel palm, it's going to hook back of his neck. Use the crane, hook it back of his neck. Now, we're going to bring him in. And at the same time, we're going to shoot a knee, right knee, straight knee, to the groin or to the midsection. And at the same time, as soon as we shoot the knee, we're going to step through and let the elbow just slip right around and catch him on the left side of the face with the right inward elbow. Let's do this one more time. We're going to step off, make the break, 
clear the arm, heel palm, hook it back of his head, bring him into the knee, and right away, we're going to slip the elbow right around his face. Okay, let's do this from a different angle. We're going to step, make the break, clear the arm out of the way, heel palm to the face, hook it back of his head, pull him into the knee, step through, and elbow. One more time. Go one, two, three, and four. Pass it, come up, please. Okay, now we've got the uh, cross push. We're going to slip right off of that. Again, we're not going to, we don't have to wait until the opponent makes contact. The arm is coming up. We could step off and pivot into a forward bow to make the break right here. Now we're going to clear the arm out of the way. As we clear, we're going to shoot the heel palm to the face. Now, right as soon as this hits, it's going to hook back of his neck. We're going to bring him into the knee. Now, right away, we're not going to let him come all the way down. As soon as we shoot the knee, the elbow is going to slip right around. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Let's take it from a different angle. So cross push, make the break, clear out, heel palm, hook it around the neck, knee, and elbow. Right again, push, break, clear, go in, and elbow. Let's do this a little bit faster. That's it! That's it! Take it from the other side. That's it! Next technique is called uh, five swords, and the attack is for the uh, right punch coming at you. It's either a right straight punch or a right hooking punch. Now, we're going to, uh, the first move is we're going to step forward with the right leg. As we step forward and around the punch, we're going to come up and do a right inward block and catch him inside the, uh, catch him inside the right punch, and it's going to be below his elbow. And your left hand is a positional check, covering your center line, or you could step forward and do a double block with the right hand, catch the bicep or stop him from the shoulder. And uh, with the left hand, you're going to check around his forearm. So we're going to step forward into a right neutral ball, do the block. Now, right from here, we're going to slip the uh, right outward hand sort of sides of the neck. Make sure you're keeping the elbow down so we could hit him with the path of the action right here, the whole thing going through the body. Now, from this move, we're going to drop into a right forward bow, catch him with the heel palm to the face. And from this position, we're going to sink back to our neutral bow, right neutral bow, as we hit him with the right uppercut to the midsection. Now, this strike is going to make him lean forward a little bit. And as the upper body starts to move in, we want to step up with the left leg going up the circle. And at the same time, strike with the left hand, doing a left outward hand sword, the left side of his face. Now, as we go up the circle, we're going to stay in our forward bow, right forward bow, in order to reach with our rear hand. Because if it was a neutral bow, it's going to pull the left hand back. So we want to stay in a forward bow, right forward bow, facing 10 o'clock as we go up the circle with the left leg. Now from here, we're going to unwind into a right neutral bow facing 10 o'clock, and we're going to finish him with a right inward hand sword, catching him on the left side of the neck. Let's go over this again. We're going to step forward, block inside the right punch, Right outward hand sword, side of the neck. We're going to go to a right forward bow, heel palm to the face. Sink back to our neutral bow, right uppercut to the midsection. Step up the circle with the left leg, staying in the right forward bow, facing 10 o'clock now, shooting a left outward hand sword, side of the neck, and unwind into a right neutral bow, finish him off with the right inward hand sword, left side of his face. 
or the neck. Okay. Let's take this from a different angle. I'm going to step in, block, chop, forward bow, heel palm to the face, go to the neutral, hit him with the right uppercut, step up, drop the circle, left leg, outward hand sword, unwind into a right neutral bow, hit him with the uh, right inward hand sword. And one more time, step in, block, chop, heel palm, and uppercut, step off, hand sword, one, two. Okay. Come up, my suit. Okay. Now, so this is for a uh, right punch. We're going to block. As we block, we're going to shoot the outward hand sword. From here, we're going to go to the heel palm, catch him to the face in the forward bow. Now, right from here, we're going to use the body rotation, sink back to our neutral bow as I shoot a right uppercut to the midsection. Now, right from here, we're going to step off and check that upper body, strike him side of the neck as we go up the circle with the left hand and finish him with the right inward hand so side of the neck. Take this one more time. So we're going one, two, three, and four. Step off five and six. Let's take it from a different angle. It's Next technique is called buckling branch. The uh, attack is a uh, left front kick coming at you from 12 o'clock. Now, put your feet together. I want you to step off with your right leg towards, ten, uh, towards 4 o'clock, facing, ending up to face 10 o'clock. So the kick comes from 12. We're going to double up on our downward blocks, okay, right, left, and sink back to 4 o'clock, being in a left neutral ball facing 10. And we block the kick. Now, since we're blocking the left kick, now your, your opponent's back is towards you. Now, from here, as soon as we block, we're going to maintain the same height. We're going to come up with the left hand to check. Check in front of us now. It could be either a positional check or you could be striking to the body. Now, from here, we're going to go with the right kick with the end step. From behind of the opponent, we're going to go right kick in between the legs to the groin. And then right from here, we're going to plant with that right leg into a right front twist stance. And then from this position, we're going to shoot a left side kick to the back of the opponent's left knee. And then from here, we're going to cross out. I'm sorry, that's going to be to the back of his right knee. And then you cross out and away towards 4 o'clock, ending up facing 10 o'clock. Let's take this from top again. So here comes the left kick. We're going to block it as we drop to 4 o'clock. Come up with a check. Kick from behind to the groin. Drop with the right leg into a right front twist stance. Side kick back of the knee and cross out. Okay. Master, come up, please. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want you to remember, if I take his leg, if he's throwing a kick at me, and I take his leg and I block it and push it out of the way, what's going to come back into me? The back knuckle. It's a natural movement. Okay. Even if he's not a trained individual, if you throw a kick at me and I block it out, that's probably the next move that he just likes to throw his arm around. So that's why when we throw the, when we block here, right away you're going to come up with the check. Whether it's going to be checking his arm as he spins when we're kicking it, or when we block the kick, right away we're going to check the upper body. So as so if we check the shoulder, even if he wants to throw that, you're going to cancel. Okay, now let's take this from top again. So he shoots the kick, we block it, and come up with the check as we catch him to the groin from behind. From this position, we're going to drop into a right twist stance, and we're going to buckle the branch, take his knee, and cross out. Okay, let's try this again. So he throws the kick, step off, block, kick, check, twist stance, take the knee, and cross out. Okay, let's take this from this side. 
Block the left kick. Kick to the groin. Twist stance. And take the knee. One more time. Go block. Kick. And take the knee. And you do a cross out. Let's take this a little bit faster. Yes, and try again. Yes, sir. Let's take it from a different side. Kick. Yes, sir. And try again. Yes, sir. Next technique is called scraping hoof. This is for a uh, attempt a uh, uh, full Nelson, meaning like they don't have the full Nelson on you in a locking position. They're attemp attempting to uh, put a full Nelson on you. Now, if you're standing naturally, which is also could be called a narrow horse stance, what you'd like to do from this position is to close your left leg a little bit, and, and by doing that, you want to straighten up your body, locking the knees, like you like to stand up straight, just straighten up the body. And at the same time, as you do this, you're going to hit him with the back of your head. You're going to catch his face behind you. Now, at the same time, what you want to do, you want to shoot your punches straight down and towards your center line in front of you. So you're going to be able to lock his arms underneath your arms. So what we're going to do is we're going to close the left, straighten up the body, hit him with the back of our head, and shoot the punches straight down to our center line. Now, at the same time that we do this, the right hand, the, the, the right leg is going to be kicking with the heel. We're going to catch inside his left knee. And then from this position, as we catch inside his left knee, we're going to kick inside his right, and we're going to scrape the shin down, and we could be stumping his foot also. Now, as soon as we stump the shin, scrape the shin, the left leg is going to be kicking inside his right knee and then we're going to go to the left knee inside the left knee scrape the shin down okay let's take this from top so from this position we're going to close the left straighten up the body hit with the back of our head punch down towards our center line to pin his arms underneath our arms and we're going to kick him with the right leg inside the left and inside the right scrape the shin with the left catching inside the right inside the left and scrape down. Okay. Now, master, come up, please. Okay. For the uh, attempting full Nelson here. Now, again, I said that he's not in a locking position. His arms are coming up to put a lock to put a full Nelson on you. Now, we're going to close the left and hit them with the back of our head. We we'll turn around from this angle. So as we straighten up the body, we're going to hit him this way. Now, at the same time that we straighten up the body, we want to punch down to pin his arms. Okay. Now, the, the way you're doing these kicks, spread your legs apart a little bit. Okay. You're not going to be doing it this way. It's coming up like this, catching with the back of the heel. Now, in order to watch your control, catching the knee instead of back of the heel, you might want to just use the bottom of your foot so we're not going to hurt each other. Okay, so when we straighten up, we're going to kick one, two, and scrape down. As we scrape down this side, we're going to kick with the left. One, two, and scrape down. All right, let's take this again. So we go one, two, three, scrape down, four, five, and scrape down. Now, let's do this a little bit faster. And the other side. And try it again.
Next technique is called grip of death. The attack on this one is your opponent jumping in from behind and putting you on a uh, headlock and he's ending up in front of you. So now, the first stance we're going to drop into is going to be a right close kneel. Now, as the opponent jumps on, ends up in front of you and he's got a headlock, we're going to step with the right leg, we're going to sink forward, drop the weight, and at the same time, we're going to strike him with our left knee. We're going to strike back of his right knee, either back of it or to the side of it, to check his height zone and also take the pressure off the uh, choke. So, as we sink into a right close kneel, at the same time, we're going to, our right hand is going to be doing a hammer fist to the groin, and at the same time, the left hand is doing a hammer fist to the kidney. It's going to be his left kidney. So we're going to sink with the right leg into a right close kneel, hammer fist to the groin, and hammer fist to the kidney. Right from this position, we're going to grab his hair, or we're going to come around underneath his nose and control his face here, if you're grabbing the hair, we're going to pull and we're going to anchor the elbow. So we're going to check his upper body right in place. We're just pulling his head back. So from the double hammer fist, grab, anchor the elbow, pull his head back. Then we're going to pivot in place, dropping into a left forward bow, and we're going to be facing 7 o'clock as we shoot a right heel palm to his face. Let's take this from top. So we're stepping towards 12 into a right close kneel. Double hammer fist with the right hand to the groin. With the left hand, we're going to catch his left kidney. Grab the hair, anchor the elbow, pull him as we pivot in place, and we're going to do a right heel palm to the face. Okay. Come up, master. Okay. Now, he's going to jump from behind, put him in your headlock, end up in front of me. I'm going to step and strike with that left closed knee. And at the same time, this is strike is going to be back of his knee or to the side of his knee to check his height zone. Now, from here, I'm going to do a right hammer fist to the groin. At the same time, I'm going to left hammer fist him to the kidney. I'm going to bring him around a little bit so you see what I'm talking about. From here, catching the kidney. Hammer fist groin, hammer fist kidney. Okay, now let's take it from this side again. Jones, put a head lock on you. Step. Strike. Grab the hair. Pull. As you pull, anchor the elbow. And you pull, and you want to pivot, finish him with the heel palm. Okay, let's take this again. <clears throat> I'd like to show you uh, the way I'm anchoring that from this position when I strike. When you grab the hair, you're going to drop the elbow right on the spine. So you're going to check. So you're not pulling his whole body back. You're just going to anchor the elbow and pull his head back. Keep him in place for the heel palm strike. Now let's take it from this angle one more time. So it comes in, we go one, grab two, heel palm. Okay, now let's take it from this side. Okay, let's do this just a bit faster. Right again. Next technique uh, we're going to work on is called crossing talon. Uh, the attack is uh, the opponent is standing squared off in front of us, and it's going to be a cross wrist grab. His right hand is going to be grabbing my right wrist. So now, from here, with him being at 12 o'clock, I'm going to step with my left leg towards 1 o'clock, going into a left neutral bow. Now, at the same time, I can, uh, with my left hand, I'm going to pin his hand 
that's grabbing my right wrist. And with my right hand, I'm going to go clockwise and counter grab his wrist. Now, at the same time that I do this, I'm going to step forward towards 1 o'clock, 12.30, 1 o'clock, into a left neutral bow. And I'm going to use my left inward block, left forearm, to strike at his elbow to control him and bring him down, make him lean forward. Now, when you want to do this, you want to make sure that this gap between your arm and your body is closed. So as I step forward, you see how I close this gap? That's when I start to counter. Because now what you're going to do is, what you're doing by this move is that you're working against his wrist. It's not going to be only your wrist against his wrist that's got to do the countering. Using your whole body. So now his wrist is going to deal with your whole body. So it's going to be in your favor to make that counter grab this way and control him down. Now, as you bring him down here, you're going to turn his wrist and pull up, bring him into you at the same time that we control him down. Now, from this position, we're going to shoot a left outward elbow to the right side of his face. And then we're going to drop the left hand, the claw, to his face. Now, as we rip the face with the claw, we're going to ride our elbow on his back to check him and keep him down, to stop him from coming up. Now, from this move, as soon as we come up to check his back, we're going to go up and around, come with the left overhead inward elbow to his spine. And then we're going to drop the left heel palm back of his head and shoot a right knee to his face. And we plant back. Let's take this from top. Pin, step forward towards 1 o'clock, counter grab, control him down. Outward elbow, side of the face, drop the claw. As we rip the face, ride the elbow on the back, go up and around with the elbow to the spine, and then drop the heel palm and shoot the right knee to his face. Now, what I meant is, if he was grabbing me hard, okay, and I'm just trying to counter it this way, now, maybe I'd be able to do it, or maybe I'd be able to surprise him, because as soon as he makes the grab, boom, counter right away, and that's what you want to do. You really don't want him to lock onto your wrist and start uh, pushing hard, and then you start your technique. But at the same time, you like to close this gap. So when you counter as you step, now hold on tight. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to come around just because I'm using my upper body. Now, I'm going to pin here. As I pin and I step, I'm going to counter and control him down. Now, make sure that this position, you don't want to, again, leave an open gap here. You want to really get on top of him, get into his body, and control him, put the pressure on the elbow. Now, from this position, we're going to do an elbow side of his face. As we strike with the elbow, we're going to drop the claw. Now, as we rip, we're going to ride the elbow on his back. See, if I just do this, it's going to bring him up. So, I want to rip the face with the claw and at the same time keep him down. And then I'm going to go up and around, come with another elbow to his spine, drop the heel palm back of the head, and then I'm going to catch him with the knee to the face. Okay, and one more time. Pin, counter, bring him down, elbow, claw, rip, and ride it. Go up and around, drop the heel palm, and shoot the knee. Let's take this from a different angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next technique we're working on is called repeating maze. Now this is for a uh, left hand direct push, pushing your center line with your opponent standing in front of you. Now what you want to do is take your left leg, step off and go up the circle. 
So if I'm facing 12 o'clock, my opponent is 12 o'clock with my left leg, I'm going to drop towards 5 o'clock. Now, at the same time that I drop into 5 o'clock being in a right forward bow facing 10, 11 o'clock, my left hand is going to come around and hook around. This is like a uh, uh, checking block, waiter's block going right on top of his arm. So now, as he pushes, I'm going to step up the circle with the left leg and let my left hand go right on top of his arm. Now, from this position, I'm going to unwind. As I unwind, I'm going to hook it on top of his arm, control his wrist, and at the same time, my right hand middle knuckle is going to strike and catch his kidney or the ribs. And it's kind of like going to whip right through. So what we're going to do is step off, catch the push, and catch him to the ribs or the kidney as we unwind into a neutral ball. Now, from here, when we strike in, we're going to strike back to the ribs with the right outward back knuckle. And then from here, with the right leg, we're going to round his kick to the calf muscle. And this kick is going to be shooting downward towards the ground. We're going to, we want to guide him down. So from here, we're going to throw the round husk kick to the calf muscle, back this way, and then we're crossing out. Now let's take this again. From here, we're going to step off, clear, and on one, catch the ribs or kidney, catch the ribs on the way back, and we're going to round husk kick down to the calf muscle. Come on, Master. Okay, put your feet together. Now, right from here, he comes with the push. So I'm going to step off. As I step off with my left, going to, my left hand is going to come out around and check. Now, from this position, I'm going to unwind and catch that kidney. From here, I'm going to back knuckle and then round his kick to the calf muscle down this way. All right, one more time. He pushes, step off, clear it. As I catch here with the middle knuckle back to the ribs and guide them down. Okay. Now, let's take this a little bit faster. Yes, Next technique is called shielding hammer. This is designed for a uh, left step through straight or a hooking punch, roundhouse punch. Now, from uh, feet together, we're going to step off with our left leg towards 7, 7.30, even if it's necessary towards 8 o'clock to just get away from the punch. Now, at the same time, your right hand is going to come up and do a right extended outward, catch inside the punch as your left hand sinks into a positional check in front of your center line. So put the feet together. I'm going to step back with the left leg into a right neutral bow as we check and do a right extended outward block. Now from this position, we're going to hammer fist across the face. We're going to catch him to the jaw, to the chin, or bridge of the nose. And right from this position, as we shoot the right hammer fist, as soon as your hammer fist and your elbow your forearm passes his center line and strikes. Then we're going to shuffle forward. We're going to push off our back leg as we shuffle forward, and we're going to collapse the elbow in and up. We're going to catch his center line uh, right to the midsection. We're going to catch the nerves right here. Now, we're going to step back, do the right extended outward bar, hammer fist them across the face, and from there we're going to collapse the elbow as we shuffle. And this elbow is going to shoot in and up a little bit. Okay. Master, come up. Now, let's uh, throw the left punch. We're going to step back as we check and we block. Now, right from here, we're going to catch him with the hammer fist across the face. Now, I'd like to show you this move from a side angle here. Let's say you're just in a horse stance. And we've clear the punch out of the way and we catch him with a hammer fist. As soon as my hammer fist passes his center line, I'm going to collapse the elbow in and up. So if we were blocking the punch from this position and we catch the hammer fist, now as soon as this hits, 
Then we're going to shuffle, <laughs> collapse that elbow right through. Okay, now let's take it from this angle. <clears throat> then we're going to drop back, block, hammer fist, <laughs> shuffling, elbow. And one more time. Drop back, block, <laughs> hammer fist, <laughs> shuffling, elbow. Okay, now one other uh, thing I'd like to talk to you guys about it is you don't want to drop back in a straight line. And there's a couple of reasons. You like to be able to give it an angle to this punch, to the attack, and break it off. You don't want to continue dropping back. Also, when you step off, it gives you a better selection of targets. When you hit, you pretty much have this part of his body in reach. When you step off, you pretty much could deal with the whole thing and strike anywhere you like. Now, let's take this a little bit faster. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Next technique we're going to go over is called striking serpent's head. Now this technique is designed for a uh, bear hug from front with your arms free. Or it could be for an attempting bear hug. You like to move when his arms are coming at you to grab. Now, as the uh, arms come up to grab, you're going to drop back with your right leg into your left fighting stance and you're going to sink your weight down. So in case he makes the grab and his arms are around you, you want him to feel your weight dropping right on top of his arms. Now, the same time that you drop back with your right leg, you like to circle your left hand right around the back of his head. You're going to catch him to the center line, right back here, back of the head, or we're going to catch the master right behind the ear. Now, we're going to drop back and shoot this left looping back knuckle, back of his head. Then we're going to grab the hair. As we grab the hair, we're going to anchor the elbow we're going to drop this on top of his shoulder to check his height zone and keep his upper body in place as we move the head back and pull it back. Now, from this position, we're going to drop into a left forward row as we shoot a right half fist to the throat, striking to the throat. Okay. Let's take this. We're going to drop back, hit him back of the head, grab the head, anchor the elbow on top of the shoulder, and pull the head back as we keep the upper body in the same place pretty much and we're going to shoot a half fist to the throat as we drop into a left forward bow that's a thrusting half fist okay. master come up please okay now we could again like i said if he's doing an attempting grab we could sink back yeah. and do this technique now if he's got you in a holding position on a bare height now, when you drop back, you want him to feel your weight dropping. And at the same time, you're going to come up, strike back of the head. Then when you grab the head, you're going to anchor that elbow, either on his back or on his shoulder. When you control him, keep him in place as we pull the head back, that's where we shoot the half fist to the throat. And we're going to sink into a forward bar, and we're going to go right through. As we strike, we're going to crush the Adam's apple right there. Okay, let's take this again. So you come at you, sink back, strike, pull, and check it, and half fist to the throat. And from the other side. Yes, 